So this is part three. Um, and I'm just going to do a little recap. So it says um, in Revelation that Yeshua said, seal not the sayings of this prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. The unjust and the filthy are those cursed, walking in disobedience of Yehovah, to Yehovah's laws. Righteous and holy are those blessed, walking in the obedience of Yehovah's laws. Yeshua is speaking to the believers. He's not talking to the world. He's talking to the believers. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. We are rewarded for obedience. And those that are in disobedience will be judged, and they will also be rewarded, but punished. To every man according to his works. By keeping the law is not, you know, we're not, we're saved because of Yeshua's blood. But once you come into this walk through Yeshua, you have to start the sanctification process. And that means start walking in the ways of the kingdom, under the laws of the kingdom, in sanctification and dying to yourself and to this world and becoming more kingdom minded and um, your works will be more kingdom. So the beginning and the end and the first, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates of the city. He's talking about the new Jerusalem. But those that don't go in, those that are without are the dogs, the sorcerers, the whoremongers, the murderers, the idolaters, and whosoever loveth to make a lie. So idolaters, you know, are you worshiping Mary? Are you worshiping a false Jesus, a false Messiah? You know, um, if, if you're not keeping the law and you say it's a, uh, the law has been done away with, that's a lie. So you love the lie and you're making a lie because you're telling other people that the law has been done away with. This is really serious, you guys. So the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto the path. The light, the word is the lamp. And the spirit and the bride said, come, let them that hear, hear us say, come and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, I will take him. I will take the water of life freely. So the parable of the, Ten virgins, the five wise, they're keeping the law, the lamp, and the oil is the law, the word. But the, the foolish virgins, they're not keeping the law, and they're shut out. The door is shut on them. Yeshua answered, Isaiah prophesies correctly about you hypocrites, and it is written, My people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. They teach as doctrine the precepts of men. You have disregarded the commandments of God to keep the tradition of men. He said unto them, Full well you reject the commandments of God, that ye may keep your own traditions. Yeshua is speaking to the Pharisees here, but the same holds true to Christianity. The Christians put Sunday, Easter, Christmas, and the doctrines and traditions of, 
traditions of men before the commandments and the laws of God. So one who is truly seek, seeking truth and wanting to worship Yahovah in spirit and truth needs to research the origins of Christmas, Sunday worship, and Easter. You need to research the history. You are worshiping Baal and Astara and Eshtaroth. These are all different masks of Satan trying to take away the worship from Yahovah. So just Google, did the Catholic Church change the Sabbath to Sunday, the Lord's Day? If you Google that specifically, it will say yes and no. It'll say, no, it didn't change the Sabbath because the Sabbath remains the same. The Sabbath is on the seventh day, which is Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. And you can go back into Genesis and see that the day begins at the sunset at the evening. And it'll say, yes, that the Catholic Church changed it to the Sunday, the Lord's Day. So they admit in their documents, along with, we are to be keeping the appointed times, just as Yeshua and the disciples and the early believers did. By keeping Sunday and the holy days, they admit this in their documents, that um, by keeping their holy days of the Catholic Church, one is in allegiance to their authority and not Yahovah's. Do you really want to be under the church's, that church's authority? So life or death. So this day, Yahovah has set before you a life of righteous life and righteousness and obedience through the true salvation sent by him, the high priest over the house of Yehovah, Yeshua, the Messiah, the King of Kings. He kept the law. He taught the law. And this day has also been set before you, death and evil. Through a pre-existent God, Savior, who you supposedly, who supposedly did it all for you. If only you believe, even though you continue to practice evil, wickedness, lawlessness, because you believe that the law was done away with. So you live a lawless life, which is death, evil. You are cursed because you are living in disobedience. So you have life and righteousness or death and evil. And this is for the believers because the world is already condemned. But you have a choice to make. Yahovah is a kind and merciful and loving father and asks that you choose life. He doesn't want anyone to, ch to perish. And through Yeshua the Messiah, the true Messiah sent from the Father, Yahovah. He taught living by the laws of Yahovah, living in obedience on that straight path through the narrow gate of obedience. Choose this day who you will serve and choose wisely. All praise and glory to Yahovah the Most High and his beloved son, Yeshua. So repent, because the king is coming. The signs are all around us. If you, I pray that you, you can see the truth here. I pray that um, scales are removed from your eyes and your ears unplugged and your heart is convicted. Because once Yeshua comes to collect his bride, it's too late. When the time for decision arrives, the time for preparation is past. 
So I keep the Sabbath and I spend the whole week preparing for the Sabbath. I do little things so everything is not upon me right on Friday on preparation day. Like I do try to do my laundry earlier in the week. I go grocery shopping um, on Thursday and then I try to spend all day Friday cleaning, prepping food and um you know just getting my house ready for sabbath and then i i finalize the things for my work um throughout the day and um you know there's always things that like show up i have phone calls from people or um you know the neighbor's dog got out last week and i had to go put it back and that took time and, and, you know, just time goes by so fast, you know, and things take longer than anticipated and there's always bumps in the road. Um, so like the father showed me, like when I get ready for the Sabbath, you have to like prepare. You can't just do it at the last minute. You can't just make your meal at the last minute. You can't just, you know, clean the house. It takes time. Preparation takes time. And the sanctif sancti sanctification takes time. You can't just do it um, at the last moment. So prepare now. You know, um, I pray that this study um, and what how the Holy Spirit showed me how to study the Bible. I hope it helps you. I hope it opens your eyes. Um, I am very scared for people because they're just following the church blindly and parroting whatever they're hearing from the pulpit, so to speak. You know, Satan has infiltrated the churches a long time ago. <laughs> a long, long time ago. And we are not even aware of the traditions that we inherited until you start really studying it and, and seeing where they came from and what they're about and their abominations to Yehovah. We want to be pleasing in his sight. We want to be obedient. We want, uh, we are to pray that we are worthy to escape the things that are coming. We are to pray to be pleasing in his eyes. You know, if you read um, the stories in like the Old Testament about the different kings, it'll say King so-and-so on the fifth day of the 10th month, you know, I'm making, you know, I'm just making this up, but it'll say the king did evil in the eyes of Yehovah. Or the king did good in the eyes of Yehovah. Well, evil was he went against the laws. And good was he kept the laws of Yehovah. Yehovah does not change. He is the same. And we are here to please him. We are here to worship him in spirit and truth. Just as he said, you know, our lips may say that we worship him and that we love him, but our hearts are far from him because we are disobedient to his ways. So I pray that this blessed you. I pray that you seek these things out for yourself and pray about them and ask the Father. And I thank you for listening. And I pray that Yeshua comes soon, and I pray that we're all ready. And I pray that this will help you get ready. All praise and glory to Yehovah. The King is coming.